In the meantime, jumping across the river, more Missouri residents now eligible to get the coronavirus vaccine tonight. That includes people ages 65 and older and those with certain health issues. But the CEO of a Northeast Missouri hospital says it will be a while before those people can actually get vaccinated. WGEM's Blake Salmon has more from Scotland County. Dylan and McKenzie officials here at Scotland County Hospital say they don't have enough vaccine doses. So those in phase 1B tier 1 and tier 2 will have to wait until they get some more. CEO Dr. Randall Tobler says they're waiting for the state to send them more doses. And really it's a supply chain problem. They have limited supplies and they're dependent on what they get from the federal allocation. He says until then they'll keep vaccinating hospital staff and frontline workers. So we will want to vaccinate them because of course they're in constant contact with, the, with folks that might be infected. Local residents say they're looking forward to getting their shot. I would like to get the vaccine for COVID and my brother lives in Texas and he's 84 and he was he either got it or was get, going to get the vaccine as soon as he could, he said. But Benji Briggs did, says she does understand the reason for the delay. I can understand why they, you know, need to hit it for uh, our uh, health care workers, doctors, nurses, anybody that works at, well, our care center, and which, yes, that's important. Tobler says right now they're making a list of those in phase 1B who want to get the vaccine when it becomes available. As of this morning, our list is 106 deep. I know the, uh, the health department has their own list and uh, it's growing, of course, by the day, I think, as the word gets out that the vaccine is now, uh, well, will be available anyway. And so I think that people are beginning to understand that it really can help us turn the corner quicker the more people get vaccinated. Officials say if you're looking to get your name on a list, make sure to call the health department or the hospital's COVID-19 hotline. Blake Salmon, WGEM News, Memphis, Missouri.